Hey everybody, how are you doing? Welcome to this video. This one is all about the painting that sits behind me. It's called Chronology. I'm going to pop a link to it down in the description and probably one up in the corner of the screen. And what I want to do now in the next few minutes is take you through exactly how this was created. We're going to do things a little bit differently. Well, that's if I can figure it out. Any second now, I'm going to pop down into the corner of the screen and I'm going to start talking you through what's going on in the video. And make sure you stay tuned to the end, okay, because I'm going to give you all the close-up shots, all the really amazing features and everything. It's absolutely unbelievable. So, let's dive straight into it. I'm going to click on the play icon and let's see where we get to. Right, well, as you can see now, what I'm doing on the screen is I'm drawing with a marker pen uh, some ran what looks like random shapes. Now, the whole point of this, especially when you see me putting numbers on it, is that this was part of a live stream where we did a giant painting by numbers. So as we now go through the video, what you're going to see is me... Well, I've cut out all the bits in between, but what basically I'm going to do is start putting colours on. Where the numbers are, there we go, I've started already. Uh, and it's all the colours that everybody is suggesting on the live stream. So somebody might say, number 20, put orange in. Someone might say, number 14, put yellow in. So we're dealing with that. Uh, so it's kind of everybody else painting it, if that makes kind of sense. In, in the, uh, here we are, look, I'm putting some blue on. That's the Suarez blue. And now in between these, where I've chopped it all kind of down, uh, I'm going back to the laptop and looking at what people are suggesting. I've also got AD telling me in my ears uh, which colours people are suggesting. You know, Dave from Wisconsin, he says, go and put silver on number 13. Anyway, you, you kind of get the idea. A big painting by numbers night. It was great fun, a little bit stressful. So now look, now look, I've just put on, I'm not sure what number that is. So that, was that number one? Uh, it might be. Now that actually is a purple, but it doesn't look very purple on the camera. So much so, look at this point, you can see AD walks in and he says, that looks blue on the screen. It doesn't look purple. And, I, and I'm saying, dude, no, that absolutely is purple. In fact, it's a purple that looks like a very famous chocolate bar. But anyway, he couldn't believe that it wasn't purple, so he came in to have a look, but I'm gonna show you it was blue. Uh, right, so what have we got now? We're going in now with the orange. I think that's 21 by the look of it. Yeah, come on, mate, come on. 21, yes, that's good. That's a nice close-up of the orange going. So somebody has suggested shape number 21 should have orange in it. Of course, I'm very conscious about creating a painting, you know, whilst everybody's shouting this out. Oh, 25's good. Did you see that? 25 looks pretty good. That was a nice pink colour. Oh, it's gone to the other side of the screen now. Uh, we're going with some of the darker ones now. Uh, black's always really quite tricky to place, especially this early in a painting, but somebody suggested put black on, so that's what we did. What are we going in with now? Ah, that's interesting. That's a creamy colour, so we're starting going in with some of the lighter tones now. And um, what's that? Have I just picked up a blue? Oh yeah, so that's French blue. Uh, that's a really nice one. Oh, I'm giving the lime a shake. That's good. Go on, mate. 14 for lime. There we go. Now you're going to see that when we do the close-ups, so stay tuned. Oh, see how it had spread when I cut? So I must have had a five minutes of sorting the next wave of colours out. Yeah, suddenly you saw the blue and the lime spread then. Uh, right, so what we're going in with here? Ah! This is really cool. So that was then a colour called Boston Metallic Blue, which has yeah, got these small little metal like metallic crystals in. Very nice. Pop some silver on, look. And we're also going silver over next to the cream. So we're on the other side of the painting now. Uh, right, number six. Ah, cool. Number six has just had some white uh, appear. And what else? Ah, good man. Gone in with the yellow. So you've got to, you've, you've got to keep up with this. <laughs> yellow. We've got black in the other corner. That's nice. So what I'm trying to do now is kind of balance out everything that people are suggesting to me against what I think really should be placed where it needs to go. Um, but in fairness, everybody did a really good job. Uh, that's a nice lilac -y colour. I'll pop a link to the actual live stream so you can see the whole thing. We'll put that down in the description. If I can, I'll pop that up in the link in the corner. Uh, oh, then that's quite a crucial one, look. So that's uh, like a maroony colour type of like a burgundy. That's going in real well. And a bright orange in the corner. Look at that. Check that out. Look, it's particularly awesome. That's over my shoulder. Um, what have we got? So we've then got a snake. That's a really nice snake of pink. I think that is going in on number three, which is somewhere, I think, up there in that corner. We'll, we'll have a look in a bit anyway. Don't worry about that. Uh, oh, and a big, big load of yellow. Yeah, that's definitely up in the corner. You'll, you'll see that. 
So that's black going in with a line. That's just behind my head here. Uh, and then right at the top, then the yellow. No, some more orange has gone in. Yellow? Not the orange. Right, okay. So what else have we got? Oh, that's the gold. That's the copper. We've got a copper effect, uh, which is just sort of up there. You can just see. That's what I've just put on. Oh, this is kind of cool. Right, okay. Here I am now. I'm giving it uh, uh, a go with the, with the plastic tool. That plastic tool is a grout spreader. Uh, fantastic bit of kit. And now look, my magic weapon, the secret ingredient. I'm not afraid to use it. Oh my word, I'm not afraid to use it, am I? <laughs> that's paint thinners, everybody. And that's a lot of paint thinners. On it goes. Uh, so what that does, that starts to break the paint down and it does thin it out. It has a chemical reaction now, especially around the edges, that starts to spread everything out. And as you'll see now, the painting develops. It gets very, very interesting. Oh, there I go with the white look. So the white, go on, go around the black, son. Go around the back. Yes, I did. <laughs> Phew. So that's the white. Some of the white you can see behind me, look, over my head. Um, so yeah, not afraid to use the white. Now the white isn't thinned, okay? The white is dense, very, very dense. It tends to sink. So the more I thin the white, the more it's going to sink down. And bear in mind, I've already put thinners on it, so I don't want it to sink too much. I'm just trying to go through some of the thought process. It's really good actually going back through it again. <laughs> I like this, my reaction to my own painting. Uh, right, so we've got more white going on now. Uh, that's, yeah, so this is the other way up to how it's hung at the moment. So this is that bottom cut. Ah, there we go, that's it. Oh, two little drops of white, that's interesting. So you can probably see one of the dots of white in the line behind me, look, that's interesting. And there we go, the four camera shot. That's the money shot. That's the one I really like looking at. Yeah, so you can see me working from all four angles there. So I'm going back in uh, with the grout spreader, which is just a um, you know, four or five inch piece of hard plastic, but it's brilliant. I mean, it's absolutely brilliant. Uh, so there we go. So I'm having, oh, so we're back to the normal shot now. That's cool. So this is sped up a little bit look, because now I'm just looking for small areas of canvas where I think maybe I need to introduce paint uh, or I may, ah, this is my favorite bit, look. There we go, what a brilliant shot that is. Well done, AD. Uh, that's on the camera slider, so we're having a gentle pan. Now you can see me working in real time, and you can see just how I'm pulling certain elements of paint out into others, letting them go, letting them move organically, uh, especially around the edges, because right, there isn't that much paint around the edges. Uh, that's looking really nice. I'm just trying to figure out which way up that is. Yeah, so that's gonna be where I'm sitting, I think. So you'll see that in a minute in some of the pans because I'm gonna, gonna leave you with some great and amazing shots, which I'll show you in just a, a minute or two. Uh, there we go, so I'm round the outside. Go on, give it a spray. That's it. You can see me contemplating now my next move. Awesome. And then this now we're gonna finish off with the roam cam. So if you've seen the live broadcast before, uh, you can just see the reflection actually in it. Uh, this is a wireless camera that we can use. It's a great, great bit of kit. And look at that, that's literally as if you are flying above it. Now, can you see? Look at those details starting to come out already. And we're getting rivers starting to form, valleys. Oh yeah, look at that, where the orange meets the yellow, incredible. And then we're getting that real subtle of the gray, which is over in this corner. And here we go. All right, there you go. So this is it dry. This is it dry, exactly how it is behind me. I will shut up in a minute and let you oogle at some of the amazing shots that we've managed to get of this, but just look at that. Look at the details, look at the effortless of the flows, look at the way they go into each other. That's kind of sat, oh, that's where I'm sitting at the moment. There you go, you can see that, that just above my head, that little curl. Isn't that amazing, guys? Hmm. It's quite nice actually seeing it like that, isn't it? If you've enjoyed this video guys please do give us a thumbs up like share and subscribe that would be awesome and we'll see you next time